Hi friends, we are here with Skills 5 Lesson 4 and we are going to start with our warm-up like we always do. When I say the I sound, I would like for you to put your finger on your chin. The A sound, you're going to pretend like you're crying. And the A sound is you're going to have an open mouth with your finger on your cheek. Okay, we're going to start. I Ah. Now I'm going to mix it up some, so pay attention. Ah. Ah. I. Ah. I. Ah. And now what I would like for you to do is have your um, child make the sound whenever you do the motion. So whenever you put your finger on your chin, they're going to say it. Whenever you pretend like you're crying, they're going to say ah. And whenever you have your open mouth on your cheek, they will say ah. And you're going to pause here and resume when you're ready. <coughs> Okay, this week we're going to start on the bottom row to mix it up a little bit to make sure that they're not just remembering um, where the letters are and saying the sound because children do uh, memorize things. Okay, so what's this first sound right here? On the bottom row, first sound. Good job. And now second sound on the bottom row. G. The third sound on the bottom row. I. The fourth sound on the bottom row. E. And the last sound on the bottom row. <sighs> okay, first sound on the top row. First sound on this top row, or second sound, sorry. Ah. Third sound on this top row. T. And the fourth sound. D. And the last sound right here. Oh. What I would like for you to do now is pause here to review those sounds and write them at the same time. It would be beneficial for you to make every sound probably at least five times. We want to make sure that they're relating the picture of the sound to the actual sound that's being made. That way, whenever they see it in a book, they will know what it is and you'll be able to read it and write it to become good spellers. Okay, now we have, we're going to go to the bottom row again. The first sound, eh. The second sound, b. The last sound on the bottom row, o. Okay, moving up to the top row, right here. Second sound. Next sound. Next sound. And your last sound on the top row. Again, we're going to pause right here and review each sound with the picture of the sound. That way that they... That way they're recognizing the sound and the picture, become better readers, writers, and spellers. And this is the sound we learned last week. Oh, like rat. And here is our new sound. 
it's uh. Okay, our new sound is uh, like up, under, uncle, ugly, umbrella. All of those words begin with my uh sound. Now the next set of words, the uh sound, because this is one of our vowels, is going to be in the middle of our words. Listen and repeat these after I say them. Rub, run, tub, fun, hum. All of those words have the, um, I can't find my cursor, sorry. All of those words have the uh sound in the middle. Now this is one of our favorite games. I'm thinking of something. So I'm thinking of something in the direction that you look at the sky. It's the opposite of down, up. That's right. I'm thinking of a direction word and it's the word meaning the opposite of over. You go under something. Now we just said this word. It's something that you hold over your head when it's raining. It keeps you dry so you don't get wet from the rain. Umbrella. Now I'm thinking of something that you do to your shoelaces before you take them off. I don't do this, but some people do. It's the opposite of tie. Yep, it's untie. I don't know why, but I just take my shoes off without untying them. Anyways, okay, now these next two words don't start with the actual letter, but they start with the sound. I'm thinking of something that's in a vegetable garden, and if you cut it, it'll bring tears to your eyes. It's called an onion. Now I'm thinking of something that grown-ups use to bake cakes and cookies, and it gets very, very hot. That's an oven. Okay, I'm going to skip right over this for a second. I don't know that I'll come back to it because my class struggled with it um, when we were doing it in class. I think I would rather do that in person. We're going to skip right past and do the picture of the sound. You're going to start at the dotted line and make a cup all the way to the bottom line, straight back up to the dotted line. And then you're not going to pick your pencil or your crayon up, and then you're going to make a straight line back down to the dotted line. Here is your workbook page that goes along with um, the uh sound. And you're going to sound out this word down here at the bottom. Mug. Mug. And then you're going to write the word in the blanks. And then over here, this is, I'm reading these words, sorry. Oh, this is a picture of mud. This is a bug. This is a nut. This is sun. This is a mug. And this is a rug. Whenever your child is done completing those, I would like for you to come back to this and try to sound this out. There's two different words, and I want you to try to sound them out with your child together. Okay? Great work, and I will see you next time. Bye.